St. Lawrence the Deacon suffered a very cruel martyrdom in the year 258. Five years before, five days before his martyrdom, Pope Sixtus and other deacons were put to death. And for Lawrence, a deacon in Rome, it was his responsibility to care for the widows and the orphans, to distribute to them the food that they would need. He was in charge of the treasury. The Roman government came to him and said, turn over all the treasury that you have here at church. And Lawrence said, give me three days. And three days later, the prefect, the chief administrator of the city came and Lawrence led him down the street, turned into a little pathway, into a little narrow passageway. And in the courtyard, he had assembled hundreds of people, the homeless, the sick, those who were hungry, orphans and widows. And he pointed to them and said, these are the treasures of the church. Lawrence was led away to be roasted alive. We see his imagery along with the gridiron. But the mission to continue to care for the poor, the widows, the orphans, the hungry, it continues to be a challenge for us. A few years ago, I worked at a parish in McKeesport. And in downtown McKeesport, the Sisters of Mercy have been operating a way to outreach to the poor and the needy since 1972. So that's 50 years of ministry. What a wonderful way to bring the mercy of God to the people who are needy and suffering. They have a little abandoned Protestant church, very fragile, very old, but there they offer lunch Monday through Friday. They offer clothing. They offer food for people to take home. And in a year's time, they provide 14,000 meals. The atmosphere is one of welcoming and respect for each and every person. Earlier in the day, they offer coffee and breakfast foods. Various church groups help the sisters to prepare the meals. And when people come in for lunch, they are seated and volunteers wait on table. So it's a beautiful ministry that continues on even today. And then there is Operation Safety Net, which also visits McKeesport. So once a week, Mercy Health System sends their huge van to McKeesport. It's parked right in front of the little church where the sisters are. And there we have nurses, case managers, social workers, and doctors. People from the neighborhood can come for free care for checkups. And this van is equipped with the latest technology. S college students enrolled in medical school also assist during these visits. The poor and the needy are often invisible to our eyes, but we need to see them and try to do outreach just as Lawrence was caring for them in ancient Rome, so we are called to care for them in our own city. Another way to reach out is through the St. Vincent de Paul Society. In the Pittsburgh region, in a year's time, volunteers for St. Vincent de Paul made 14,000 home visits. These visits connect the helper with those who are in need, so they are known personally. In a year's time, St. Vincent de Paul has given out 
900,000 food vouchers. They've spent $400,000 for utility bills for people who were short on their income. And in a year's time, St. Vincent de Paul in our Pittsburgh region has offered $500,000 for rent assistance. So we are called today to be aware of the continuing need of people who are suffering, people who are f without food, without shelter. And just like Lawrence went above and beyond to care for his people, so we want to be sacrificial in our generosity when we can help out with St. Vincent de Paul or the Sisters of Mercy. Here at the parish, our own food pantry at St. Rosalia weekly gives a food, maybe 20 families a week. So it is, no, it is something that we can all be involved in, whether it be something small, a few hours of volunteering a week, or something larger. We are all called to continue to hear the words of Jesus that says that we should sacrifice. And if we should sacrifice for the sake of others, for the love of our neighbor, then there is great fruit, then there is great blessing. He says, amen, amen, I say to you, unless a grain of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains just a grain of wheat. But if it dies, it produces much fruit. So our sacrifices help people to have faith, people to have health, people to continue to have the necessities of life that are so important for each and every person. So as our Holy Father says, let's not just put a, a few dollars in the basket and say we're finished, no, he says, accompany the people who are in need, be personal with them, just like the sisters of McKeesport do, welcoming each and every person at the door, just as St. Vincent de Paul does, visiting every family in need. So we wanna be in person when we share our resources and our time to serve those who are in need.